Good morning, America. It's your boy, Skinny Penis Red. And today I'm going to show you guys how to get the Leviathan's Breath. It just came out on Destiny 2 this week. It is a power weapon, surprisingly enough. And it does some mad power weapon damage. So I'm going to jump into the, all the steps that you need to take. It was pretty easy to get. So yeah, let's have a look. The first thing you need to do is you need to go to Banshee 44. So here I go to Banshee 44 and he's going to give you a quest called the back way. So you got to find his hidden entrance to Banshee's workshop as you can see per the quest over here. So if you follow along on my screen, I'm going to show you exactly how to get to Banshee's hidden workshop. So we're going to start it off right here. You can see that I'm walking away from Banshee right now and you're just going to follow my guy. I have him zoomed, uh, increase the speed to 150% so he's going super duper fast. Um, and yeah, just watch my screen here uh, and you'll see it's very easy to get. It's sort of like a mini jumping puzzle. Um, I went the wrong way over there by accident. Uh, ignore that. Just go this way over here. There's Zer. You can say hi to Zer. Pick up some pick up some equipment from him if you want. That's pretty cool. So yeah, watch this. And um, when we get to the next quest step, I'll let you guys know what's next. At this point, I'm going to go ahead while you're watching this and take some time to sell out some of my content. I just want to let you guys know that I'm on twitch.tv slash redjhead. So if you guys want to go see me on Twitch, I'd love for you guys to drop by, ask me questions, uh, make fun of me, uh, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, anything is welcome in that chat. As a matter of fact, I'm surprised that I haven't gotten banned yet on Twitch with all the bad things that I've done. But yeah, please come see me. I would love that. Anyways, here we go. We're in the hidden workshop and we got the next quest step. Where are the keys, sir? So the, the, the safe is locked and we need to go back to Banshee and complain, politely of course. Um, he needs to give us the keys to unlock the safe for the Leviathan's bow. So here I am talking to him. Uh, he's trying to remember where the keys are. I guess uh, uh, he's an old guy for a robot, so I'm not sure what's up with that. So he gives you another quest step, Intro to Safe Cracking 101. So Intro to Safe Cracking 101, you have to do Vanguard Strikes or Gambit Matches. Uh, now, Gambit Prime Matches give you more percentages than Vanguard Strikes. Um, but I did two Vanguard Strikes. This is me doing a little bit of uh, Vanguard work over here. And each Vanguard Strike gave me 50%... Sorry, that was my dog. Each Vanguard Strike gave me 50% completion. So it was pretty easy. Um, check out some of this garbage gameplay over here. This is me completing the Vanguard Strike. And over here at the end, you'll... So once I finish the second strike, I'll get the next quest step, and that's Advanced Safe Cracking 201. Now, for Advanced Safe Cracking 201, what you have to do is you have to use any bow to land precision kills against Vex or Cabal. So there are the details for uh, this next quest step, and I'm also going to show you guys uh, how this works, so you're going to see some gameplay on me. <laughs> Poorly landing precision strikes and final blows against Vex or Cabal. Um, so here we are. That is not a precision kill. That is a precision kill. So the yellow hits. You see I'm getting yellow over there. That was a precision kill. And then the second one was not a precision kill. For the Vex, you have to hit their white spot. That was not a precision kill. That was not a precision kill. That was not a precision kill. That was a precision kill. So, yeah, this... Okay, so this part, <laughs> I decided to keep it in the video. <laughs> this was... I needed one more kill. And this zone had, like, six Vex. And <laughs> I'm so bad at aiming. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I, I thought this was funny. So this guy I get, finally. And then I get the next quest step. Economics of War. So... We're almost there, just one more thing to do. The economics of war tells us to complete the strike, the arms dealer. Now you can find this strike on the EDZ on Earth. So we need to go there, complete that strike to generate um, a little more data for uh, Banshee 44. So I'm gonna go into my um, director right away, go to destinations, go on uh, EDZ, 
and it's the strike I think on the top left over there you're gonna see me go to it right now uh, the arms dealer that's the one over there so um, click launch on that and um, get started uh, and yeah finish the finish the uh, the um, strike uh, defeat Brockus Zahn I'm gonna do that right now uh, for some odd reason it was harder to defeat him uh, they 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 upped the power level on on this strike so it was a little bit more difficult uh, I was I did the I did very bad I did very bad on this so if I can if I can get this bow you can definitely get this bow anyways uh, we finally bring him down there you see uh, he dies, and then our whole team gets wiped at the end. I thought that was funny, so I left it in the video. Um, but we still complete the quest step, and the next uh, quest step is Applied Crypto Security. I don't revive that guy. I don't know why. That was a pretty... That was pretty mean. Um, anyways, Applied Crypto Security asks you to return to Banshee 44. So... Um, yeah, at this point, you just return to Banshee 44. Here we go. And um, he's going to take some time to generate uh, the key to open the safe. So he'll give you one last quest step, Martial Archery 401. So you got to go back to the Hidden Workshop. And once you're at the Hidden Workshop, you get the bow. So I'm going to, you know, um, show you this video again of how to get to the Hidden Workshop. Honestly... That was probably the hardest part, finding this hidden workshop. So, um, yeah, just just follow along with me. You just got to go up here, um, up these stairs. Again, Zer is there, so don't forget to buy your stuff from him. The trickiest part um, of this mini jumping puzzle is this part over here. So, you just got to jump over. It's kind of like a... It, you, it feels like it's hard. But it's really not that hard to do. Uh, you might fail the first or second time, but uh, you, you'll get it. It's it's super easy, um, in my opinion. And yeah, um, I'm gonna probably cue some music at this point, guys. If you liked this video, you know, um, please give me that thumbs up so that uh, I can hit 1,000 subscribers. I want to start making that moolah from YouTube. Uh, I, I'm I'm at 200 subscribers now, and you know. It, it, just if you can hit that sub button, hit that like button. I really appreciate it. And there you go. Uh, the 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 um, the thing was open, and I got Leviathan's breath. And so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of um, how it works over here. It is a, a power weapon, so it does mad damage. You have up to um, ten uh, arrows that you can hold, nine in the quiver and one on the bow itself and when you shoot it, it it's just purple explosions everywhere so um it's it's pretty it's pretty heavy bow it has a bicycle chain on it uh it, it's a pretty old one but it's a it, it does some pretty mad damage so yeah guys i really hope you enjoyed this video and uh you know hit that thumbs up button and hit that sub button if you can if you can't you know that's cool um you know, come and visit, and uh, I, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Thanks, and peace out for now. Goodbye.